welcome to ProCAD's guide to getting started with VRED. First I'm going to launch Navisworks and I'm going to um, bring in an FBX file of a garage and I'm also going to append an inventor assembly of a robot spot welding arm uh, workstation. So once Navisworks is launched, click append, navigate to where I have my garage stored and open. Now I don't need the roof for the scene so I'm going to hide that in Navisworks and I'm going to append in the robot spot welding station. I'm bringing in an inventor assembly file and here we are. Takes just a moment to load. Uh, once I have the CAD data together, I can export this as a DWF file. Save it as VR workflow. And that's it for now. So we can close down the program now once this is exported. Save our scene. Okay, once that's done, we can launch VRED, which will take just another moment to load. Okay, once uh, VRED has loaded, we can come up to import, navigate to where we've saved our DWF, and open. Uh, we're going to center in origin and place on the ground, click import. Now our model is actually going to import uh, 90 degrees off center, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our item from the scene graph. Here we are, the scene graph. Bring up our transform menu. We're going to rotate 90 degrees. Um, also, we're going to scale up by a factor of 800%. Uh, um, this is to um, get a life-size scale for navigating when we do mount of our VR headsets. I'm adding the advanced tool set. Uh, you'll find a link to this below. View display, open VR HMD. And here we are inside in our scene. As you can see, uh, you can get into a virtual reality environment quite quickly uh, with this workflow. It's very useful for um, uh, design reviews and uh, getting a better idea of the spatial relations of our designs. So here I am teleporting about our scene. There you have it. Um, that's how quickly you can get into a virtual reality environment and how simple um, the VR workflow really can be.